Hey guys, it's Beanie Boo Wolf, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys my unpopular opinions I have about Beanie Boos. A little over a year ago, I made a video pretty similar to this, except I read other people's unpopular opinions. But in this one, I'm going to be telling you what my own opinions are. And before we get started, I just want to say to please be respectful of my opinions. I don't mind if you disagree with me, that is completely fine, but if you do disagree, please do not go after me in the comments simply because I have a different opinion than you. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video now. So the first unpopular opinion that I have is that this specific fabric texture absolutely sucks. There have been so many times where the fabric has like caught onto my nail whenever I touched it and it feels so uncomfortable. And even just the thought of it makes me cringe, like, ew. But I will say, it is definitely better than the hard glitter. That's even worse. Anyways, getting on to our next unpopular opinion. Okay, so I see a lot of debates in the community about what Animal Atlas is supposed to be. Like, I see people say that she's a fox, while I see other people say she's a wolf. But I honestly see her as a mix of both. Basically like a fox-wolf hybrid. See, she has both fox and wolf-like features on her. Like, she has black feet and black ears, which is commonly on foxes, but then she has more of a wolf-like structure and not to mention a wolf tail. So yeah, in my opinion, I think she is a mix of both a fox and a wolf. Anyways, moving on to my next opinion. Frost is not as rare as people think she is. She's just really overpriced. So I see plenty of people say that Frost is like extremely rare and stuff. Which, yeah, I'd say is pretty true because she's like an exclusive and she's discontinued and all that. But she's not that rare if you think about it. When something is rare, that usually means it's uncommon and really hard to find. And Frost is definitely not that hard to come by since you can find her for sale on a lot of online places like eBay and Mercari. And a lot of people have her as well. I feel like the main reason why Frost is so hard to get is because she's incredibly expensive. And I don't even know what led to her being that much. Like, hundreds of dollars? Seriously? I'm not saying that Frost isn't rare at all. I'm just saying I don't think she's as rare as people think she is. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Frost. Let's move on to my next opinion. Teeny ties deserve way more appreciation. So for those who are wondering what those are, teeny ties basically look like Beanie Boos, except they're a lot smaller and they're in this like jelly bean shape. I feel like they were a lot more popular back in 2016 when they were first released, but now they get barely any recognition. Like, look how cute they are! And my favorite type of teeny ties probably have to be the ones that are a lot fluffier than normal and exclusive to Europe. Like, look at these! I am obsessed, guys! They're so fluffy! But they also look kinda angry. Ty seriously needs to make more of these. Like, I don't know why they just gradually stopped. Cause I will say, the products that they're designing now are quite something, and they definitely need to bring these back. Okay, enough of me ranting about teeny ties now, let's move on to our next opinion. Fake Beanie Boos are honestly cool, and I think they kinda deserve hype, despite them not being authentic. And by fake Beanie Boos, I'm talking about the ones that you can normally find on places like AliExpress and are often mistaken for prototypes. I just really love the designs on some of them. Like this one for an example. And if I'm being honest, I count this as a Beanie Boo. And one of my favorites. And I know that I did an unboxing video on this and said it was a prototype, but I was recently informed that it is not a prototype and simply just a fake Beanie Boo. But honestly, I don't really care that it's fake, I still love it. There's actually a lot of fake Beanie Boos that I really want in my collection. Like this multicolored bunny, which kind of reminds me of cotton candy. And this cat, which appears to be like a combination of two Beanie Boos, Pelly, and Firecracker. And I think that's really interesting, to be honest. And there's many other ones that I really want, but I'm not going to say all of them because then this video would be way too long. But anyways, we are getting on to my final unpopular opinion. Bloomy is overly hated and does not deserve it. So for those who don't know, Bloomy is this bunny Beanie Boo that was released back in, I think, 2018. And I see a lot of Bootubers saying how she looks really ugly and stuff, but to be honest, I disagree. So I think the main reasons why people don't like Bloomy is because of the shape. Like her head is really big and she has tiny ears and stuff, which I can completely understand honestly. But in my opinion, I personally think the shape is really cute. And I don't know about you guys, but I really like the pattern she has, like the easter egg shapes and stuff. I also think the colors look kind of interesting. So I can understand why a lot of people don't like this Beanie Boo. I have to admit, at first, when I saw the design, I thought it was a little weird, but it grew on me. 
it's really not that bad. So yeah guys, that is all for today's unpopular opinions video. I really hope you enjoyed, and let me know in the comments what your unpopular opinions are because I would love to know. And like I said, it is totally fine if you didn't agree with me on some of these, just please be respectful since we are all entitled to our own opinions. But yeah, that pretty much concludes the rest of the video. Bye everyone! Oh, 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 oh,